last night. Good morning, everybody out there. You like get to get wet? Yard shit. Let's get wet. I'm not talking Denzel and Trading Day. I'm talking your strip ski. I didn't know you like to get wet. Seven four Giants. They win their eighth in a row. What? What? They're now twelve and four. I'll see them this week in Tahoe Wipe for the bachelor down. party. Wipe, Wipe me down, down, baby. Twelve and four in June. Wow. Uh, Have we canceled Boosie? Gostrowski, two home runs yesterday. All he needed was a sack fly. All he needed was a base hit. But he said, "Nah, I want to go to the Cove." And he goes to the Cove for a three run shot. And I don't know what the hell's happening right now. I don't know where this thing is going, folks. I really don't. But I'm having a job, having a time of my is life this right Aussie? now. Is this Crazy train? <laughs> Crazy train. I don't know what the hell it is right now. Mama Bonte's coming home. <laughs> I'm all in on this team, man. I'm all Good over morning. the place. Rap, rock, no, let's no, do you, this. You are all what over the place. What a game. First off, first off. <laughs> You're like, all over the place. No, because this team, they're the cardiac kids. The comeback <laughs> stuff is, is kind of unbelievable. B, I don't know where this is going to go. Like I, don't. I really don't know. But in terms of falling back in love with the team, doesn't it feel like we're all falling back in love with the team? I, I am back in love all with All together. Them. I, I was so I was so giddy last night watching this baseball game. Even like you know, I was talking to Lubman. We talk every night for the show and just to make sure we're tying up every loose end. And and Sam Lubman's like, you know, man, it was four nothing. It was dead. And I was <laughs> like, oh boy, actually it was four one. Yes, it just went yard. Um, uh, VR VR went yard to make yes. it four one. Yes. And then yes. right before yeah, yeah, hits see a VR home back. run. Good to see VR back. Yeah. He's trying to grind. I like um, VR. Yes, hits a home run. I'm like oh, there's Yaz hitting a home run. He goes Lubman goes, you know. Giants are going to mess around, come back and win this game. Right? And they're going to win it. That's why win he's it. the Giants reporter yeah. at this and, station. And that's why, and that's why he, it's the summer of love because he's on the, the roll right now. Of the love. summer of love. Man. We need but, t-shirts. I, I, we will get the t-shirts. But listen, man, <laughs> this team, they're fun. Matos, the bat, the bat speed. Bailey's playing hell of a catcher. He had a great bunt. Did you, did you see the, what happened? Sable yesterday? had a great bunt. I mean, he, Sable had a great bunt. Did, and I love that they're bunting. Right. Did First you inning, did throwing you out Tatis. Did you see? Casey Schmidt got to walk. He got to walk. He got to walk. <laughs> he got to walk. <laughs> so, look, man, they're 12 and 4 in the month of June. They still a game they had no business winning whatsoever. You got a great at bat between. You want to talk. It's, can we stop? Machado like, versus Duvall. We keep talking about Bonds versus Gagne, and I get it was a great at it bat. Was. That at bat yesterday, 11 pit at, pitch at <laughs> bat with Doval and Machado. And he's throwing 100 mile an hour cutters. All I right? had chills. <laughs> 100 and then mile he an hour cutters. He gets him to chase, and Machado looks so defeated. Well, Machado looked at him and kind of looked at yeah. him and said, Respect. That was bad. Respect. That's a growing up moment totally for Camilo Duval. Those are at bats he's going to have to see later down the stretch here. This is all good for him. This is all good for Matos. This is all good for Bailey. Look, the pitching. You got to duct tape the bad boy right now. You got to put band aids all over it. They I don't know somebody. how you're going to get through the week. They got to get somebody. Let's just call it what it is. They got to. They got. They got to right figure this out. They got to go get somebody. Right. You, you, Obviously, you don't want to surrender any of your prospects, but you got to staple something together to go get you something. Uh, you have to. You have to get something. You got to. You got to duct tape this bad boy because they are falling apart by the wayside. And look, Juan Soto's got crazy power. Apple Taco twice. You know, you got a, nothing but stars on that Padres lineup. Know that- but they just kept battling and battling and battling. And no, Josh Hader yesterday. He no. was unavailable. No. That was huge, huge. because Garcia Not- uh, and Carlton, they couldn't find his own whatsoever. I think one thing that's becoming evident as we get into June here, like the deep part of June, the Giants' bullpen is much better than a lot of the teams that they're going up they against are. over the last couple of yeah. months. Here's where I worry. You are depleting the ever-living you-know-what out of your bullpen right now because you don't have starting pitching. Right. And so what is a strength? Your bullpen could easily become a weakness if you don't patch up the biggest weakness on the team, which is the starting rotation. Yep. Bonte, it is, it's hanging by a thread right now. You got to get another arm. You got to get an arm at some point, but I want to play this one more time for our audience. If you're just waking up, good morning to everybody out there getting off the graveyard shift. If you're at work, what is happening? Good morning to everybody out there. It was at the yard yesterday. It looked like a packed house. It looked, was- like the, looked like the park was buzzing on a Monday night. Looked like it was buzzing. It was surprising to me. Yeah, very surprising on a Monday. A lot about attendance, and when it's not good, we constantly bring it up. I was shocked to see the amount of people there on a Monday night. On a Monday night, and they got to see this, and they got to see this live and direct at Oracle Park. High drive, right field. It is out of here, and we are going Mm. home. That's an all-time call by Dwayne Kuyper on his birthday. On his birthday, right? He left two innings, had some birthday cake with his grandson. It was really cool to see Fleming step in for him. But Kuyper on the call there. Um, and, and look, 
35,000 love men just got in my wow. ear. 35,000 last night. And this was a big game and a big tone setter, a big tone setter for the series. Yes, it Look, was. it's a huge week for the Giants. All right, you just swept the Cardinals and the Dodgers. And we talked about June. We highlighted yeah, June for so long. All right, now you're getting through June. You've won seven straight. You got the Diamondbacks on the weekend. Mm-hmm. You got three more against the Padres. I'm good with the split in the series, considering where their pitching is at. Yeah. Considering that Logan Webb's not going to total rubber in this series against the Padres. But that was a tone setter. And then the Padres, they got to go back home thinking, damn, we just can't get right. We can't win those games. We just, what's up with us? All the things were going right for the Padres. They were hitting the ball. They were getting on base, but they could not cash in. That was a survival type of game for the Giants. They scratched it out, and they absolutely stole one on a Monday night. Unbelievable. I mean, it really is an unbelievable comeback. And I just, I'm looking at this team right now, and I'm saying to myself, they got a little bit of everything. They got pop from the right hand yep. side, right? You've obviously got uh, JD Davis. JD Davis could step into one at any at bat, yep. right? And then you got pop from the left hand side. Could Fordo, the batting yep. average isn't great, but if you look at all his advantages, Numbers they look really, really Profe- good, and they're professional at that. Exactly, Mike Yastrzemski. I don't think he's all star level, he's just an above average outfielder right now, which is a huge step forward because I didn't think he was last year, and he's proving me wrong. I mean, I, I was really worried about him coming out of spring training, and he's been really good. I also think quietly his recovery from the hamstring injury yeah. in Mexico City yeah. has gone so much better than I thought because I thought that would be something that was going to yeah. linger for a long time. Whatever they did is working, but moving him to right field and having Matos in, in center field. I think it's rejuvenated uh, Yastrzemski, and I think it's put him in a spot in the lineup where he's not carrying the load. Yeah, you know, before, no Remember when he was your three and four hitter right. yeah, every no, no, single no. day and he's no, carrying the load? Do Can't do that. No, do that he's not that. He's not that at all, but you know what? In June, he's batting only 240, right? But he's got the four jacks. Yes. He got the big home run in St. Louis last Wednesday night. He got two last Clutch. night. By the way, his speed, running on Juan Soto, it's one of the better throws I've ever seen Juan Soto make from the outfield. What a slide. Hell of a slide because he slide. had to run back to third base to make sure he tagged up and not leave yes. early. Yeah, it's tying the game there in the bottom of the ninth inning and just sprinting down to third base. Look, Juan Soto is a lot of things. He has a lot of flaws in that outfield. We know, he, we know he's not a plus-plus defender. He made a hell of a throw there off the one hop. I was like, wow, he almost got Yaz there. But Yaz, that was a uh, Mike Kostripski game there. for, And good for him. Good for him. Four home runs so far in June. 11 RBIs. Picking up the slot. Six walks. He's having just better at bats, Shasky.